Jeez, oh man. <gasps> oh, that's really hot. Watch Michelle make a craft. This should be fun. Uh, this might be a bad idea. I can't see without these. Ow, that, oh, that's hot. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are making a boot and ear, boot and ear, boot and ear, 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 ear. I don't know. Boot and ear, better, out of shotgun shells. I've got shotgun shells here. I've got four of them. And I'm going to do all of them because I have them all ready. It's just better that way. The way things are going these days, it's just better. My daughter and son-in-law, the wedding is at their house in their backyard. And right now there's a little bit of chaos happening over there. I guess the tent guy's coming early and the grass needs mowed and it's been raining. You know, you know how things go like that. What we need is twine, which that's a story. A hot glue gun, have that. That's stuck to the chair, okay, have that. And the shells, that's all we need right now. Oh, no it isn't, hold on. Hot glue gun won't stand up. I don't know. And these pins. We need these pins. See the pins? Because this is gonna go on the back of the shell to pin to a shirt. So, let's open the pins. Got it. I went in the hardware store to get twine and I just walked in there because you know, I'm kind of busy today also myself because we're having a cookout here tomorrow before, you know, just to because we have some people coming in from out of town that we're very excited to see. And they're coming over here along with all my other children and having a cookout. But I went into the hardware store. I'm not putting those back now, that's too much work. Oh, I just said, I want twine, do you have twine? So the guy took me to the row of the twine and said, we have this twine and this twine. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. And I turned around and started to walk away. And he's like, wait a minute, ma'am. Wait a minute. Now, we have three-ply twine or two-ply twine and there's plastic twine. No, really, this is what I need. Well, now listen, this is so many feet and this is so many feet. Thank you for helping me. I finally said, listen, I can't see without these. I finally said, look, oh, look at the shirt. You notice this? If you watched my video on the tornado, this is what we made. So, is it? Oh, here. Cute. Great. Okay. Back to my story. So I finally ended up telling him, listen, thank you for all of your help. I appreciate it. But what I'm doing with this is wrapping it around shotgun shells, which then it piqued his interest. He wanted to know why I was wrapping them around the shotgun shell. Look at this. So, all right. I guess the twine is going to start right underneath this lip, which I could cut that off, but I'm not going to because... There's not a need for that. So I'm wondering if I should put hot, like a little strip of hot glue and then wrap it like so. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, now you can watch me work. Lucky you. Which we just, our power was just out. So this is the bottom. This is gonna be the bottom and this is gonna be the top. So I think I'm gonna put a little piece of glue, piece, little piece, right there. Maybe down a little maybe all four if I see if I mess one up I have more that's the plan because I do want the glue to stick all right so we're just gonna do that and then we're just gonna wrap this twine and I know I was just telling you a story but uh, for the life of me I don't remember oh 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 see now I'm gonna get hot glue everywhere Watch Michelle make a craft. This should be fun. So this is all you do is you just, just wrap the twine down. The shotgun shell. Not all the way down though because I do want that metal brass to show. Oh, our power went out. That's what I was saying. Our power went out, yes. So, in the midst of that happening, I got laundry happening and you know just the getting I was just getting ready to do this and then I called my mom because she's at my daughter's my glue is starting to dry 
and my dad, you know, my dad's on oxygen and they don't live far. And I'm like, I don't know if you have power at your house. Do you want me to go check on dad? So uh, I, did, I did not have to do that because the power went right back on. I could call my father on the phone, but you know what? My dad doesn't answer the phone. Oh, these are going to be cute. I might want to try to mush these closer. Yeah, get them in there tight. If I have to put more hot glue on, I will. I have a lot of hot glue sticks. I don't know about you guys, but I hate talking on the phone. Do you guys hate talking on the phone? I, I just do. I like the texting. I'm so glad they came out with cell phones that text because you know what? If you want me, text me. I'll answer right away. But talking on the phone, forget that. I just don't like doing that. Especially if it's a number I don't know, I won't even answer that. You know what? You could just go right to voicemail. And if you're lucky, I'll read your voicemail. Not that. Yeah, I have a problem doing that too. I have, my voicemails are almost ow that oh that's hot. Oh, I wonder how many blisters I'm gonna end up. Let's see how far down. Alright, let's see. There's a big gob of glue there. Let's see if I can get that. Well, that's toward the back of the thing anyway. So that, that will be okay. Plus, you know, when hot glue dries, you could pick it off where you don't want it. Like my fingers. See, I got a little hunk there. I could get that off though. That won't be a problem. I'm telling you. Gotta love the dog. Gotta love the dog. These are going to be really cute. Now what we're going to put in these is baby's breath. I'll have to show you a picture of that or maybe I'll film it when I do it. But we're doing it at my daughter and son-in-law's house, of course, this wedding. And they don't want to be on camera. You won't see them. And oh, None of my videos, you won't see them. Just because they don't want to be on YouTube. And that's okay. I'm cool with that. That's their decision and I'm, you know, I don't know if you guys might have family members that also you don't want to be. Look at now, I gotta put a little here, a little drop there to get this down. So, I, yeah, if you guys have, oh, you know what I need to do? Oh, you know what? I screwed up. Kind of. So you just don't, ow, jeez, oh man. Oh, that's really hot. This is the pin that's going to go on the back of it. And that's quite long. So I have I have another short pen. Let me see here. We might use these shorter pens. Because that's just as long as the Well, back to the video. You didn't know I got interrupted, did you? Yeah, the phone rang. So I just wrapped it down a little farther here. So we're gonna go with this. This look. And then I have this pin to put on the back of it, which is this size. And I don't know, can you see how far that sticks out? I do have a smaller pin, but I don't really want to use that size. I don't want to use this size because I think it'll be harder to pin on the shirts. I think this size would be this size would be easier. So I'm gonna break this backing off, hopefully. Hopefully it comes off easily. A little bit of backing is okay. Let me see, because that would hold the glue. Yeah. Nope, that's still stick. Oh, let's see if I can take all this off of here. If I ruin this, I do have several more of these. Let's see, how am I gonna get this off of there? Come, oh. Well, I guess that's not gonna come off. Let me see. Nope, that's not gonna come off of there. Hold on, let me get a knife. All right, I got the knife. Probably cut myself, I end up in, listen, I hope, uh, this might be a bad idea. That might have to stay on there because, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to end up cutting myself and I don't want to have to go to the emergency room today. Not today. We may finish this video after my husband gets home. Maybe he can get this off. Probably if he saw what I was doing right now, he would be, what are you doing? Well, I want this off of here. Yeah, we might wait for him to get home. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, now I'm going to jab myself with the pin and the knife. All right. We're going to do that part later. Because now that's all bent, we can't use that. Okay, well, carrying on. Let's do the next one. Now that I know that what we're doing, I've got a better idea about what we're doing. Does that make sense? Hope so, because it didn't to me, not too much. All right, where's the end of my twine? Okay, so probably, let's see. Well, we'll just put a little 
bob of glue here. Oh, come on now. Now this is not cooperating. Ouch, that's hot. Jeez. Probably why it's called a hot glue gun, right? We'll just put a little gush around there. And go, ouch, ouch. Stick my finger in it. And then, you know what? Let's get a system here. Get a system going. There. Oh, see, look how nice that was. And then I can put a little more glue. But you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Now, the end product, you know, you probably won't see. But we're excited about this wedding. We are so excited. My daughter finished nursing school. That was her plan to get married after nursing school was over. Which she graduated debt free, mind you. She worked full time. We're very proud of her. She worked full time and went to school full time. We won't use so much glue on this one, so maybe it won't look gunky. There we go. All right, I'm gonna finish wrapping these. And when my husband gets home, we'll put the pins on. Okay, back to the project. My husband came home and he took the things off for me. So we're gonna, I got, and I got all four of them, twine on them. Yeah, there's the other one. So we're gonna put the pin on these. And if you notice, I started the, the front and the back glue, or the, yeah, the start and the finish is it right here in the back. So the front doesn't have it on there. So we're gonna put the pin back here nice. on the back. More hot glue, here we go. Wonder I should hot glue it on this thing. Yeah, that's probably safer than I don't have to touch it. So we're just gonna do a line of hot glue and make sure the pin's going down. The pin is gonna be down. Also, I'll be taking my hot glue gun with me in case there's any problems with this. There, pin. And then we're gonna put this full of baby's breath. So that should look very cute, I think. I'm gonna make sure that's down there. Yep. Okay, let's do the next one. Pin going down. Yep, okay. Put that on there like that. Let's get it straight. That is straight. Hold it down for a minute in there. There. Pin going down. And I have made one extra because we only need three. So I do have one extra here, just in case, because you just never know. Last one on. There. So that is done. Woo! Knocked them all over. Ouch! Oh man, touched the... Got burned by that. So the plan is to take a little bit of hot glue and just dap it in there and then put the baby's breath in. So hopefully it'll look nice. I'm hoping. I am hoping. All right. If you like my video, come back for more. We seem to be getting in a lot of stuff lately. So uh, subscribe. Hit that little like button. It's over here somewhere. And I'll see you next time. Bye.